great company. So what was I so excited about? JJ was the one getting married. Look at him, cool as a cucumber. I do, I do, I do, I do. Laura, very much the outdoor type, insisted on an adventurous honeymoon. They went on an African safari. One day, deep in the brush, Laura got separated from the rest of the party. JJ came back alone. Without Laura, life was empty for JJ. I tried to help, but it just wasn't any good. He just wasn't the same guy. I was giving up hope until one day, a year later, he met Linda. Lovely, charming, and kind of <laughs> kooky. And we, I mean, he did it again. Look at him, cool as a cucumber. He does. He does. He does. He does. <laughs> and then, suddenly, someone turned up, very much alive. Meanwhile, J.J. was back from his second honeymoon. And it fell upon me to bring the good, uh, the bad... It fell upon me to bring the news. <laughs> Naturally, J.J. took it like a man. <laughs> Gonna do. Don't worry about it. What do you mean? What do you mean, don't worry? I'm now married to two women. Well, J.J., we'll work something out. Look at it this way. They say that marriage is a partnership, don't they? So what? Well, in your case, it's a corporation. <laughs> Take a minute. No. We can do it now, while he's still sleeping. No, not yet. Why not? We know everything. What's the use of waiting? But... It's too late for buts. If we don't do it now, we may not get another chance. But have we got the right? The right to kill! He's given us that right. Yes. Yes. What he's done is worse than anything we could do. She knows! <laughs> Give me the knife. No, use the gun. The gun? The knife is quieter. But it's so messy. Use the gun. Let go. Let go. Good morning. Good morning, darling. Did we wake you up? Uh, 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 no, I, uh, I hope I didn't disturb anything. I forgot to tell you that uh, Daddy's class is meeting on Saturdays now. Oh, uh, 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 good morning, Laszlo. Good morning, my dear boy. You know all the kids, don't you, darling? This is my husband, Jack. Hi there. Huh? It's good to see you again. And this is my lover. In the play. How are you? Uh, real fine, almost from the morning. How are you? Uh, just mar marvelous. Uh, th th that's an assegai, isn't it? Uh, oh, uh, th this assegai? <laughs> yes, indeed. This assegai is, in fact, an assegai. <laughs> Listen, don't let me uh, stop you. You just go out about your business because I'm... The, um... Uh, I, I'm sorry, Les. Oh, me. I just... Oh, let me... Uh, 
I was just going to go fix some breakfast. You kill it fresh every morning? This is the only knife in the house that really, uh, cuts. Four. <laughs> now die, you swine. <laughs> Revenge is, um, <coughs> revenge is, uh, uh, sweet. Sweet. Revenge is sweet. Uh. <coughs> oh, um. <coughs> See what I mean? Cuts. <laughs> Revenge is sweet. Revenge is sweet. The sweet smell of murder. Ah! All right, all right, everyone. The class is over. Mm. Jack, my boy. Mm. Don't forget tonight, here at the apartment. Nine o'clock. One. Means everything to Linda. What does? Nine o'clock. See you next week. Bye, Linda. Bye. Goodbye, my dear. Until time once again brings us together. Excellent, my boy. Excellent. my weapon if you put down yours. And Charlie wants you to come over. You feel terrible about it, but you have to go. J.J.? No, it shouldn't take long. J.J.? J.J.? Charlie, I'll be over in a few minutes. No, it shouldn't take long. Well, I don't know, J.J. You're in the wrong place. Wrong place. Charlie, what are you talking about the wrong Watch. place? Watch. Watch. <laughs> Airport. <laughs> Laura's house. Linda's apartment. Here's your customary law route for Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Well, so... Just... Charlie, let's do that. And your Wednesday changeover. Group. Yeah, but I... <laughs> right, but I don't... And your customary Linda route for Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. But... Just watch. Charlie, your Sunday changeover route. But Charlie, I don't... But it looks just fine, <laughs> Charlie. Now, according to this, tomorrow is Linda Sunday, right? Right. So, watch. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> birthday? Yeah, when did you know about it? Well, I don't know. I think it was last week. Yeah, why didn't you tell me? I forgot! Well, DJ, you can't forget to tell me. That's the only way I can program this thing and keep these schedules straight and keep your life from falling yeah, apart. Sure. That's why I've been working night and day, planning, covering, fixing. I'm not married to two people. I'm married to three. <laughs> Okay, you want to quit? <laughs> yes! <laughs> you know what that means, JJ? Yeah. Yeah, it means I have to give one of them up. Which one? Come on. Which one, JJ? Which one? Look, here's my point. If you bring this situation out in the open, which one of them do you hurt? Right. They both find out, they both have broken hearts, and you'll be responsible for breaking up two beautiful marriages. I just can't do that to them. I know. So? So we keep going this way until we find another way. And with me behind you, believe me, we'll make it. OK. 
Okay. Well, what do I do now? I'll get to work on a birthday schedule. Hey, you're due home in 10 minutes. Right. Which home? Laura. Roger. No, Laura. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> I think I'm going to take a shower. Do you want me to get you anything? Yes. Possibly a transfusion. <laughs> Honey, what am I going to do with you? Well, you can either enter me in the Olympics or donate my body to some medical school. <laughs> Where does it hurt the most? Somewhere between my forehand smash and my backhand lob. Turn over. Uh, uh, oh. How do you like it so far? The massage? No. Your birthday. I like it so much, I think I want to have one every couple of days. Maybe that can be arranged. I know my birthday present's going to be, too. What's that? More and more of you. something. What? It's moments like this that make everything seem so worthwhile. What do you mean? Well, if you get caught in a hurricane, what you're trying to do is fly right into the center of it. It's called the eye of the hurricane. Now, all around this, everything is so, so violent and so turbulent. But in the eye, everything is so completely still completely gone. And that's what you are to me. The eye of my hurricane. JJ! Oh, JJ! Come on now. Charlie, what do you got? It's a tough one, J.J. Both parties will be going on at the same time, and I don't know whether I can oh, work with you. What both parties? The one you're going to with Laura, the one at the hotel. Yeah. And the one that Linda's giving, the one at the apartment. You mean that's a birthday party, too? No, they're celebrating National Cauliflower Week. <laughs> Go to the hotel and wait for my call there. Eat dinner as fast as you can. Take a cab to the apartment. Here's a couple of bucks. <laughs> You're a perfect wife and mother. No questions, John. Okay. Mr. Hopper. Happy birthday! I thought you said just a few friends. Happy birthday, darling. Oh, thank you. Hello? Hello. Would you take a message from Mr. John Hopper, please? Mr. Hopper, certainly. Tell him there is an emergency at the field. Yeah. Oh. 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 Toast. Happy birthday, darling. Oh, happy birthday, John. <laughs> I beg your pardon, sir. Yes, what is it? There's an emergency at the field. <laughs> There's an urgent message. <laughs> There's, there's, you bring message. I bring gravy. <laughs> gravy? 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 Mr. Hopper? What is it, John? There's an emergency at the field. Oh, oh no, John, not tonight. I'm, really, I'm terribly sorry, folks, but and I'll be back very, very soon. I'll hurry as fast as I can. It really shouldn't take too long. It's just that they need me. I have to go. They do need me. It's a matter of wife and death. Uh, life and death. <laughs> hey, taxi! Come on, come on! Mr. Hopper? Yes? Hey, 
Now, come on. What is it? Oh. Hey, wait a minute. I'm going to a party up there. You guys oh. make a mistake. You don't make mistakes. Son. No, I haven't done anything. Hurry. Get it. What are you pushing me around? Get it. Wait a minute. Look, I don't know who you guys are after, but believe me, this is a terrible mistake. <laughs> I know we can work something out. It's been worked out, mister. Move. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I haven't yes. done anything. This is it. The last stop. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get it over with. Just give it to me. Happy birthday, darling. <laughs> Was I surprised? Was I surprised? Well, how did you like the fellows Daddy picked? I believe in them. <laughs> You're so thirsty, Jack. I... Mm. I had a gag in my mouth. <laughs> it was some sort of emergency. It couldn't be helped. Besides, I'm, I'm sure that John knows what he's doing. <laughs> I swear it. Where did you think you were going? Oh, to a much warmer climate. <laughs> you know something? I think you're loaded. I think you're right. You know, I still don't know where I am. We, uh, we must come in a back door or something. I mean, for all I know, we could be in the, uh, <laughs> the room. This is the red room. The red room. The room. Imagine that. Red room right next to each other, but a clash in colors. Yeah. Are you all right? Splendid, splendid, splendid. Mind if we dance? No, thank you. Dance with my wife? <laughs> oh, pardon me. No, pardon me. Oh, hi. Pardon me. Well, look, I'm sure it was my fault. Well, thank you. Maybe we can discuss it sometime later. Well, I just want to take this opportunity to tell you how much I admire you and your wife. Especially my wife. Yes. Well, thank you. Right now, we're going out for some air. Oh, I'd love to go for some air. I'll bring some back. Oh, okay. No, I meant I'd go along with you as company. <laughs> Look, did you see that man? Who? That man, the man over there dancing with my wife. Oh, yeah. I want you to keep an eye on him for me. What for? What do you mean? I know what he's up to. He's no good. He's... No, no, no. I think he might try something. Oh, no. I mean, he'd never. Not if you keep watching him. Now, will you do that? Like a hawk. Good bird. <laughs> uh, man. Oh. Mr. Hopper? Yes. Jack, right. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Sorry. I'm back. Mm, but you'll never leave me again. I certainly... That's an order. Well, I'll try now. Can I remind you that I hold three championship trophies for marksmanship? It's always in the back of my mind. Good. I'd rather not. I hope your dinner warm. <laughs> Great party. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're having a good time. Wonderful. We're really enjoying it. <laughs> I'm through. How's it going? Huh? You were right. He's no good. <laughs> What do you mean, you saw what I was doing? Jack, hmm. what's in there? Hmm? Where? In there, in that other room. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You just came out of there. Did I? I want to see. Uh, uh. Jack, 
scaring me. I saw what you were doing. That's what. Are you threatening yeah. me? I want to see. Now, no, Linda. Linda. Linda, there's something I have to tell you. I, I really don't know how to start. Oh, Jack. It's your birthday cake. Happy birthday to you. You are threatening me. Well, 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 I'm just warning you, that's all. Happy birthday, dear Jack. Happy birthday to you. Congratulations. Get away from me. Watch out. I enrage easily. No, it's a Happy birthday. Did you make a wish? <laughs> Uh, where, where, where? Behind those doors. The men's room? Oh. <laughs> Boy, listen. Hit me, termite. Say that again. There's something I think I have to tell you. <laughs> Spell it. T. Look, I, I really don't know how to do this. John Block. But, but honey, it's really important. I. T. E. That's 100 percent correct. Make a wish. <laughs> JJ. French. And then what happened? Don't you remember anything? Well, I remember thinking that maybe if I could just get both parties together in one room, I could explain very calmly. And that's when I knew my mind was beginning to go. Screwdriver. Then I thought, maybe I could introduce Laura to Linda. And they'd really like each other and become very good friends. And then Linda's father would meet Laura's mother. They'd fall in love. They'd get married. <laughs> and I'd become my own brother-in-law. J.J., uh, you better take a rest. You're going to crack up. What are you doing? We've got to strengthen our security system here, J.J. These schedules are getting more complex. Next time. Next time? Oh, oh, oh there's not going to be a next time. No, listen, i got it all figured out. My birthday is until next December. What could possibly happen before then? Look. Merry Christmas. 